In today's class, we are going to discuss about another important nerve of the lower limb, which is the sciatic nerve. Sciatic nerve is the chief nerve of the posterior compartment of the thigh. Sciatic nerve is the largest branch of the sacral plexus and it is the thickest nerve of the body. If we talk about the origin of the sciatic nerve, its origin is from the ventral rami of L4 to S3 nerves. And the sciatic nerve has totally two components. One is a tibial component and second one is a peroneal component. So the tibial component is mainly formed from the ventral divisions of the ventral rami of L4 to S3 spinal nerves. But in case of common peroneal component or the common peroneal component of the sciatic nerve is formed from dorsal divisions of the ventral rami of L4 to S2. This is how the sciatic nerve is formed. Now what happens is after the formation, it passes through the greater sciatic foramen below the pyriformis to enter into the gluteal region. So it descends down and slightly laterally that is under the cover of the gluteus maximus midway between the greater trochanter as well as the ischial tuberosity along the back of the thigh. Now in the posterior aspect of the thigh the nerve is crossed by long head of the biceps femoris and passes till the junction of middle and lower third of the thigh that is near the popliteal fossa where you can clearly see that the nerve divides into two terminal branches tibial as well as the common peroneal components. Now what about the relations? So when we talk about the relations of the sciatic nerve over here, first we will see the deep relations. So deep relations means we are talking about the bed of the sciatic nerve and if you see the relations from above to downwards, the sciatic nerve is related to the body of the ischium that is posterior surface, obturator internus, superior as well as inferior gemellus muscles, quadratus femoris, adductor magnus, all these are the relations. Now when we talk about the superficial relations, from above to downwards as you can see in this picture that the sciatic nerve is related to gluteus maximus in the gluteal region and long head of the biceps femoris in the thigh. So these are the relations of the sciatic nerve. Now we have to discuss about the branches of the sciatic nerve. Like other nerves, sciatic nerve also has articular branch, muscular branch. So mainly articular branch is mainly given to the hip joint and the muscular branch we need to discuss in two parts because in the sciatic nerve we have a tibial component which is the medial component and the lateral component is called as a peroneal component. So the tibial component of the sciatic nerve which is the medial component supplies semitendinous, semimembranosus, long head of the biceps femoris as well as ischial head of the adductor magnus. But if we talk about another component which is common peroneal part of the sciatic nerve which is also called as the lateral component of the sciatic nerve supplies only short head of the biceps femoris and nothing else. Now let us discuss about the clinical correlation of the sciatic nerve that is the sciatic nerve injury. So what is the etiology of the sciatic nerve injury? Sciatic nerve is the most common nerve to get injured by means of intramuscular injections in the gluteal region which is the most common cause. And other causes are posterior dislocation of the hip, fracture of the pelvis, hip surgery, all these can cause sciatic nerve injury. So here we need to discuss about a condition called as pyriformis syndrome where the condition in which the pyriformis muscle is the one which irritates and causes pressure on the sciatic nerve causing pain in the lower back, buttocks and referring pain known as sciatica along the course of the sciatic nerve in the posterior aspect of the thigh. And what are the symptoms of this condition? As site of injury is before sciatic nerve dividing into two terminal branches both tibial as well as common peroneal nerves are affected and the following symptoms are seen. So what about the motor loss over here? Inability to extend thigh and flex knee 
mainly because of the paralysis of the hamstring muscles because which are supplied by the sciatic nerve and also loss of movements below the knee and foot drop is mainly seen so foot drop is mainly seen because of the paralysis of all the muscles of the leg and foot because which are supplied by the tibial as well as common peroneal nerves and there will be a high stepping gait what we will see in this condition so this is about the motor loss and what about the sensory loss sensory loss is seen on whole of leg and foot except the area which is innervated by the saphenous nerve because we know that the saphenous nerve is a component of the femoral nerve but not the sciatic nerve it is mainly due to paralysis of the cutaneous nerves derived from tibial as well as common peroneal nerves and now what is a condition called as sciatica sciatica is a clinical condition where it is characterized by a shooting pain felt along the course and distribution of the sciatic nerve what you can see over here it occurs mainly due to herniated intervertebral lumbar discs which causing compression and irritation of the spinal nerve roots from L4 to S3 and it is also seen in the condition called as piriformis syndrome which we already discussed and next is about sleeping foot sleeping foot is a clinical condition where it is caused by the compression of the sciatic nerve against the femur or unusual stretching after sitting for a long time this also causes a condition called a sciatica so by this we completed anatomy of the sciatic nerve as well as its clinical application